Bonjour my friends, I'm Frank and welcome to Club Foodie. What would Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner be like without a turkey? I guess it would be fine. But if there's a turkey on the menu, what about a turkey dinner without gravy? Uh, it's impossible. There has to be gravy on the table. Sometimes though, things in a kitchen can go wrong and there won't be any gravy. But don't worry, I've got a recipe for you. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my turkey gravy without drippings. This recipe is amazingly delicious, even if we cheat a little. The taste is very similar to a gravy with drippings, and the beauty of it is you can make it ahead of time. <laughs> so my friends, let's get cooking! In a medium pot over medium heat, we'll add butter. And when it's all melted and pretty hot, we'll add the onions. We'll saute until soft, about three minutes. Then we'll add fresh rosemary and quickly saute for only one minute. To this, we'll pour in chicken broth, stir well, and increase the heat to medium high so we can bring the mixture to a boil. When it gets there, We'll transfer a couple ladles to a measuring cup and add bisto. Now let's keep in mind that this is a super tasty gravy with a shortcut. This recipe is in case something happened to the drippings while cooking the turkey. Or there's not enough gravy for everyone. Or simply because you wanted to make a few dishes ahead including gravy, so you don't run like a crazy person on the day you're hosting your dinner. Whatever the reason, you are totally allowed shortcuts here and there. Now, if some of you are not familiar with this ingredient, here's what it looks like. There are two kinds, one for poultry and one for beef, and both are absolutely incredible. So after whisking these two together until well blended, We'll pour it back to the pot, and this will help thicken the sauce. We'll whisk once again to make sure there are no lumps. Next, we'll reduce the heat to medium and pour in some Marcella wine as well as heavy cream. And of course, we'll season with freshly ground black pepper. We'll whisk very well once again, and when the gravy starts to simmer, we'll reduce the heat to medium low. We'll let it cook for 8 to 10 minutes, whisking occasionally. Before serving, we'll taste and adjust if needed. When the gravy is nice and thick and the seasoning is perfect, we'll remove from the heat and transfer to a gravy boat. And my friends, this is our turkey gravy without drippings. You might be wondering if it tastes as good as gravy made with drippings. I'd say it's pretty darn good and very similar to the homemade version. Having this quick and easy gravy around can be a lifesaver. And who knows, it might even become your favorite go-to recipe. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!